And then maybe a, a, a last um, smaller building before we escalate um, is uh, um, a culture institution we just opened in, uh, in, in Bordeaux, in France, bringing three uh, different uh, cultural institutions together uh, in a new building, uh, uh, a library, a media tech, uh, a performance space, and a, uh, and a contemporary art center. Uh, the art gallery is on the top uh, uh, to have uh, access to skylights uh, and connected by a, a shared lobby uh, on the waterfront of the Le Garonne in, in Bordeaux. Um, and basically, the, the, the library and the, and the theater uh, creating the two pillars uh, the art museum, the bridge, uh, to enclose uh, a big public room. The entire building finished in a prefabricated uh, concrete. You can really see that the French invented uh, steel reinforced concrete uh, because they are so incredibly good at it. Also, the sand in the south of France is so insanely beautiful. That's why Unitibitation in, uh, in Marseille is maybe the only truly beautiful of the unités that Corp did because of the of the quality of the sand. Um, so essentially, the three institutions enclosing this giant outdoor urban room, uh, where the three institutions, but also the city itself, can, uh, 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 can invade. On the inside, it's basically a 150,000 square foot building with a $40 million budget. Uh, which sounds completely ridiculous by New York standards, but it's still pretty ridiculous uh, by European standards. So uh, we had this kind of positive side effect that all the finishes inside are so insanely raw. Uh, it's, basically, uh, it's basically concrete. Uh, um, in, 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 in different shades. Uh, for the opening, uh, Benoit Maire, uh, a local uh, Bordeaux artist, uh, made this uh, head of Hermes uh, that is uh, sliced so exactly where the void of the building is pushed out to create a big public room. Uh, the, the sculpture is also absent, so in a way the, the most exciting part of the sculpture, the most exciting part of the building is, is what's not there. Uh, and then inside, there's almost like Le Corbusier level of raw finish. Uh, even the furniture is cast out of concrete, uh, some of it tiled. Um, there's a periscope from the lobby uh, that looks up. So here you're actually standing uh, at the bottom, looking up at the people. So you can kind of see it's a, it's a giant sloping mirror that allows you to see what's happening on the square above you. Uh, the ballerinas can look out over the, the square and vice versa. Um, actually, at the opening, uh, there was the first demonstration where they said, um, congratulations with the cultural building, but what about the two and a half thousand homeless in Bordeaux? So it was clear that I think in the first 24 hours, I saw you know, a, a couple making out, the first skaters, of course, arriving, and the first uh, demonstration. Uh, the theater, again, uh, this kind of mosaic of tarred wood, uh, um, hot rolled steel, and black concrete to create the, the perfect sort of acoustic uh, mix. And finally, this kind of art barn at the top, uh, and a sculptural park looking over. The city, but essentially, in this kind of very sort of simple building, the, the main gesture being the sort of the, uh, providing this kind of new shaded and covered outdoor space for um, for the cultural life of the city.